A little over a day ago now, the official teaser trailer for Invincible Season 2 dropped. Along with it, we were given a bunch of new information for this new season, and using three details we've been given for it, one even being from the teaser that was released almost six months ago now, I think there's actually a chance Spider-Man could appear in Invincible Season 2. Emphasis on chance though, as this isn't confirmed in any way, and everything presented here could just boil down to coincidences and an easter egg, but I wouldn't leave just yet. Even if that is the case, it's still very interesting to speculate about, and looking at all this evidence together, it's still not exactly far-fetched. And real quick for those who think this is just some random collaboration of comic characters, it's actually happened before. In this official collab, characters Invincible from Image Comics and Spider-Man of Marvel meet and briefly team up. And by the way, I'd keep this image in mind if I were you. It'll be very important later, trust me. Starting with the first, Josh Keaton, the voice of the web-slinger himself in Spectacular Spider-Man, among other iterations, is among the list of voice actors to join the roster of Invincible in Season 2. This is by far the least qualifying piece of evidence, especially on its own, as it's not exactly like this is the only voice Josh Keaton has done, far from it, but it is by far his most popular role and something to keep in mind. Even if Spider-Man doesn't turn out to be in Season 2, though, I am excited to see who he voices in the show. For my next point, we have a character named Angstrom Levy, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, confirmed to become into Season 2 and in the comics is one of Invincible's arch enemies. That, of course, isn't striking on its own, so why am I bringing him up here? Simple. His powers have to do with the multiverse. More specifically, he has the ability to open up portals to alternate realities. Combine a villain with the power of the multiverse with the aforementioned point with Josh Keaton, and I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. Even still, if these were the only points I had to make, this video wouldn't be worth making. With just this, it'd be the biggest stretch in the multiverse to assume this collaboration would make it to the show. But we're not done yet. My most damning piece of evidence for this theory comes from one little detail in the teaser for Season 2 of Invincible released six months ago. The video starts fairly normally, with Alan and Invincible sitting at the booth of a burger mart, with Invincible looking at his phone. And that's the most important part of this theory. A few seconds into the trailer, if you take a closer look at the image on Invincible's phone, doesn't it look familiar? Remember that image I told you to keep in mind? Because looking at them side by side, analyzing every detail, there is absolutely no question the cover for the Spider-Man and Invincible collab is exactly what's on his phone. If that is the case, why doesn't this confirm anything? As I mentioned before, this could be nothing more than a little easter egg, a neat nod to arguably Invincible's most famous collaboration. Keeping that in mind though, there's still an undeniable possibility here, and it's not small from where I'm looking. Diving into this a little deeper, let's go back to Josh Keaton for a second. Specifically, his role as Spectacular Spider-Man. The show's nearly 15 years old at this point, so why would they go for this rendition of the character? Firstly, this rendition of the character is without a doubt one of if not the most loved version of Spider-Man among fans outside of comics. Josh Keaton did a phenomenal job voicing the character, and for many people, is the voice they hear when reading Spider-Man's line in the comics. For my second point, the spectacular Spider-Man himself made an appearance in Across the Spider-Verse, which is still very recent. Not just that, but he had a line as well, and all these years later, still voiced by Josh Keaton. And at least in my opinion, he can still do the voice very well and could easily return to the role of Spider-Man, especially for something as little as a collab in Invincible. Furthermore, I would also like to bring up the Adam Eve special episode we got. This is because in the very same teaser with the comic book cover on Mark's phone, sitting next to him and Alan is a younger version of Adam Eve, teasing that special episode. If this seems like a stretch to you, look no further than Invincible's official Twitter, where they outright confirm this was a tease. If this was meant to suggest a Spider-Man collab, not only would it not be the first time they've done something like this, but it also wouldn't be the first time in this exact teaser. And one last thing to mention before I end things off. I'm merely arguing for him to make an appearance in Invincible. Whether that's a cameo that lasts only a few seconds, or as far as a decent to major role in one of Season 2's episodes. I would certainly love for it to be the latter, but with all this evidence presented today, I'm merely arguing for an easter egg, which, looking back at all the evidence for it, I'd say is not too unlikely at all. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you want to see more from me. It helps more than you might think. If there's something you disagreed with or you just want to add to a point I made, feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you feel inclined, sharing the video around could help me significantly, as well as just rally more people to the theory to put as many brains together as possible for this. At the end of the day, this is just a theory after all, and each time going into making one, I accept I could be dead wrong. For me though, the fun of speculation much outweighs that risk. Regardless, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.